Cost control always produces short-term benefits. But when you get to the medium term, you start to see big unintended negative effects, and that's what we're going to see here. But the importance here is we're dealing with people's health care. This is your life and death for some people when they can't get the adequate health care, health care in the rural areas, health care in urban areas that are already underserved because you excessively control the price. You might say, well, what's the solution to it? How can we control the high cost of health care? And certainly we need to, to control it. Well, you can just look around here. Look around the state of Oregon, some of the innovative things we've already done. The CCO model works well in, in doing that. Bundled payments, value-based payments, switching the sector away from volume-based reimbursement. Uh, integrated delivery service. There's a host of ways to, to tamper down this cost escalation in the healthcare sector. We need to embrace that and not go backwards. This is a huge step backwards for the healthcare sector. I think by doing this, we abdicate that long and cherished tradition in Oregon of being at the forefront of healthcare transformation for at best short term savings. This bill falls way short, and at best, this cost control is a band-aid for a state which is in desperate need for reconstructive surgery to prevent a desperate future. Thank you very much.